Hi, I'm Allie Merriam. It's Monday, April 1st, and these are the headlines biggest on Pop Sugar right now. Glee star Corey Monteith has checked into rehab. The 30 year old actor released a statement confirming his decision to seek treatment for substance abuse. It's his second time in rehab. He also sought help for an addiction when he was 19. His Glee co star and girlfriend Leah Michelle released a statement of her own supporting Corey and saying that she'll stand by him. And the timing of his entering rehab means that he'll miss out on filming the final two episodes of the current season of Glee. Rachel Wilson is on the cover of May's Cosmopolitan magazine and inside the issue makes rare public statements about her relationship with longtime boyfriend Hayden Christensen. Rachel said of their romance, I'm a really good girlfriend. I always put all that first in my life. I'm definitely the person who would make him his favorite dinner to come home to. And the latest G.I. Joe installment topped the weekend box office. G.I. Joe Retaliation featuring Bruce Willis and Dwayne Johnson was number one over the weekend with over 41 million in ticket sales. It was followed by The Croods and Temptation at 2 and 3. We couldn't let April 1st go by without a mention of April Fool's Day. In honor of the cheeky holiday, a number of online companies are having a bit of fun. Google today teased a new service called Google Knows Beta in which web users can search by smell. And their sister site YouTube meanwhile made the joke announcement that they're shutting down after eight years of service, having found the best video in the world already. And today's top story is all about the Jolie Pits. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt are currently together in LA with their six kids and marked the Easter weekend in a special Jolie Pitt way. Angelina's in California again following a trip last week to the Democratic Republic of Congo where she shed light on victims of sexual violence in the ongoing conflict there. On Saturday, Angelina ventured to Santa Barbara with Sons Pax and Maddox to shop for art supplies. And yesterday there was more fun in store for the kids when Dad Brad took four of his little ones out for a ride in a four-wheeler and on bikes at the beach. The family time comes as the Jolie Pits are gearing up for multiple new projects. Over the weekend, Brad published an editorial in the UK newspaper The Observer about the failure of the US war on drugs. And another war, the one against zombies, is explored in his upcoming movie World War Z. Brad's World War Z is out in the US in two months on June 21st, and apparently Paramount Pictures is still tweaking the final version ahead of the international debut. The Rock reports that Paramount, in the hopes of getting the picture out in China, are making a version which apparently lacks a reference to the big screen zombie epidemics starting in China. It's famously been rumored for years that Brad himself is not welcome in China after leaders there were angered by his film Seven Years in Tibet. So if the movie does come out in China, there's a question of whether or not Brad will be able to promote it there. Though in January, he went on China's version of Twitter, Sina Weibo, to enigmatically state, it's the truth, yup, I'm coming. Now Angelina has also been busy prepping for a new film. Her second directorial project will be based around the book Unbroken, which was writer Laura Hillenbrand's account of one man's miraculous tale of survival during World War II. Angelina's first directorial project, In the Land of Blood and Honey, came out in 2011. That's back in the news though because Angelina recently won a US court case against an author who claims that she plagiarized the plot of the film, which she also wrote. And of course, in addition to their movie and social endeavors, Brad and Angelina are gearing up for their big wedding. Angelina denied last week that she and Brad are married already, despite her being seen with a new gold band on her ring finger. I'm Allie Merriam. Thanks for watching.